हेलो वेलकम टू द सेल्फ लर्निंग पॉडकास्ट बाय डॉक्टर सुषमा सिंह लेट अस स्टार्ट डिस्कशन ऑन यूनिट 15 ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अर्बन लोकल बॉडीज एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल स्ट्रक्चर द फर्स्ट गवर्नमेंट इन इंडिया वाज सेट अप एज अर्ली एज इन 1868 बेली 88 88 years after the establishment of the East India Company the place of owner being Madras but it cannot be said that the urban municipal government has been a gra- great success in India this is all the more surprising when it it is remembered that the distinguished nationalist leaders like dada bhai naroji pirosha mehta बाल गंगाधर तिलक गोपाल कृष्ण गोखले सी आर दास सुभाष चंद्र बोस एंड जवाहरलाल नेहरू हैड एट वन टाइम और द अदर सर्वड इन द म्यूनसिपल गवर्नमेंट एंड सेकेंड दिस लेवल ऑफ गवर्नमेंट अलोंग विद द रूलर पार्ट वॉज ट्रांसफर्ड बाय ब्रिटिश रूलर्स इन टू द हैंड्स ऑफ इंडियन under the diarchy introduced under the government of india act 1919 the inauguration of provincial autonomy under the government of india act 1935 gave further impetus to the development of municipal government in india the act ab- abolished the system of diarchy and introduced a popular government in the provinces after independence in the federal structure of indian polity the matters pertaining to the housing and urban development have been assigned by the constitution of india to the state governments the constitution's 74th amendment act have further delegated many or these functions to the urban local bodies the constitutional and legal authority of government of india is limited only to delhi and other union territories and to the subject which state legislatures authorize the union parliament to legislate the ministry or urban development is apex authority of government of india at the national level to formulate policies sponsor and support programs coordinate the activities of various central ministries state governments and other nodal authorities and monitor the programs concerning all the issues of urban development and housing in the country The following subjects are allocated to the Ministry of Urban Development in relation to the urban local bodies. The constitution and power of municipal corporation, municipalities and others local self government administrators excluding panchayati raj institutions. Water supply subject to overall national perspective of water planning and coordination assigned to the ministry of water resources sewers drainage and sanitation relating to urban areas and linkages from allocated water resources international cooperation and technical assistance to this field the central council of local self government matters of housing and urban development corporation hud co relating to urban infrastructure collection and collation of information with regard to urban local governments in the states urban community development improvement trust training of municipal government personnel all india mayors conference advising the ministry of home affairs on matters related to local government in union territories 
the urban areas consist of different types of municipal bodies constituted with reference to character size and importance of different towns and cities the operation of the municipal institutions are also largely influenced by the modes of community living and philosophical formulations besides the interaction between the political and socio economic systems municipal corporation municipalities notified area committees town area committees and cantonment boards are the usual types of municipal bodies and while the first four types are created under state municipal bodies and while the first four types are created under state municipal laws the cantonment boards own their origin to the central act called the cantonment act 1924 local self government implies the management of local affairs such as water supply drainage primary education maintenance of roads etc the goal to be aimed at is the betterment or welfare of every citizen local self government is a system under which the people of locality possesses a certain responsibility of public local affairs and in the raising of money to meet their expenses the emergence of urban government as a distinct government unit is the result of the interplay of several factors historical ideological and administrative historically local self government had preceded national government administratively it is important that the civic servant sees which any community would need for planned programmed and integrated in terms of region or area inhabited by them it provides an extensive range of services to the people and performs a function of greater variety and magnitude local self government ensures two way communication between the state government and itself desires and aspirations of the state government and plan programs of the state and the central government flow in the reverse direction now let us wind up the session and thank you very much for engaging yourself with the self learning podcast